Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification. To my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to select or to retrieve data from database. So create a function called select select.php save it so after that start your php so the first thing you should do is to create a query which will go to fetch or we'll go to select data from database yes so select we want to select name column called name and the column called feedback from table called feedback feedback so select name feedback from feedback yeah that's it so the next thing is to execute your query so write your if statement if result is equal to we want to put in my square function which will go to fetch data my sql my sql yes that way so specify the connection of database con and specify your query you want to send to the database yes after that we need to fetch or to retrieve all data from databases so we will use while loop so while while row means you want to fetch every row in table code feedback my sql my sql fetch my square fetch array array yes inside my square fetch array specify what you want to fetch you want to fetch the result which is the result of my square query after fetching our rows in database so result yeah that's it so inside while loop you need to echo we need to echo those rows fetched from database so echo row put in square bracket inside the row specify yeah specify name this is the column low another column from database which is feedback so feedback yeah that's it last thing is to free my sql result so we'll use my sql free result function which will free resource after being used as long as we know that these resources should be used in good manner so we need to free our result or to free our resources after fetching data from our database 
So that is how you can fetch or you can retrieve data from database in PHP. So go to your browser and try to learn your to learn your code localhost yeah cs select php or oh, and define the variable con online number four it says variable con is undefined we have forgotten to include the database connection so include include the database database.php php yes that's way so error has occurred because variable called the con is undefined if you see database.php this is your file for making database connection and the con the variable which hold the database connection so i hope you saw in your previous video i taught you on how you can connect to database so after that save this file then refresh yeah now you can see it has successfully retrieved the data from database but uh, the order of retrieve the data is not in a proper way or in a good way so let's make some changes in our php code so right here do the following break line to make it every row from database appear in a new line then you refresh now you can see it's looking nice but uh, there is uh, i mean there is connection between the name and the feedback from database so let's put a space so that we can see clear what's the name and what's uh, the feedback so come here do the following yes put a space that way go to your browser refresh okay now you can see there is the name this is the user called natalia feedback php is practical here you can see user jumper.com php is good for streaming join bosco bootstrap is is pretty good so if you come back to your table feedback there is a column name and a column feedback so that's the end of our tutorial on how you can retrieve or you can select or you, you can fetch data from database in php thanks for watching do not forget to like comment subscribe and share this video Goodbye, see you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.